this system, the Vreos as a pet CT system is faster, um, offers improved quality of imaging, uh, of facilitates more precise quantification. So for us as professionals, is a new, very powerful tool that we, are, that we are very happy to have. For the organization of the department, um, well, the major impact is, is the, the speed, because the system is, as I said, is faster, is more sensitive, so we can reduce the, the, the time for each examination or we can reduce the dose of radiopharmaceutical we use. And that has important uh, consequences for the organization of the department. Our throughput is improved, and the costs at the end can be substantially decreased, because by reducing the dose of radiopharmaceutical, which is a major uh, cost for, for the department and the hospital, uh, that's, that has a major impact on the organization. So if we reduce the dose by half, and at the end of the year we do a thousand examinations, it's a substantial amount of money. Uh, but most important, uh, the radiation dose that is given to the patient, if we reduce the, the dose by half, uh, so the benefit is, is double, so it saves costs to the healthcare system, and it, it saves radiation dose to the patient. To shorten the examination time uh, is important first for the patients because uh, the patients uh, tolerate better the exam, they, they feel more comfortable, uh, um, especially for patients who may have pain and may have difficulties in holding a position for, for some time, for 20 minutes or so. Very important for them. Uh, it is important for the professionals in charge because uh, it uh, improves throughput. Uh, we can examine more patients in one working day. And then it is important for the organization, for the healthcare system, because it saves costs, saves time. The major uh, difference with prior technologies, so say the, the analog PET CT, uh, is that we are able to uh, detect smaller lesions earlier. And that may have uh, impact in several clinical situations. It may address unmet needs at the moment. Well, we have uh, studied patients uh, with different diseases and uh, we, in a consistent fashion, we uh, detect the smaller lesions, we detect more lesions. It is important in head and neck cancer because in head and neck cancer, quite often, there are uh, small lymph nodes that might be involved may be uh, malignant. And again, for appropriate staging of the primary tumor, it is important to define exactly which lymph nodes are affected or not. Again, here, such, such, um, as these nodes can be quite a small in size, uh, digital PET can make a difference. I foresee that the areas in which uh, Vereos will have the highest impact. Uh, that will be uh, in the assessment of pulmonary lesions, in the uh, evaluation of response uh, of lymphomas to treatment, in the uh, staging of head and neck cancer, and in re-staging patients with breast cancer. And in addition, in the area of dementias, I believe that uh, digital PET will be soon the instrument of choice. Why is this? Because uh, with the Bereos, we, we uh, reconstruct the, the brain uh, by using uh, one millimeter th uh, thickness slices. 
uh, and this this one millimeter presentation of the images of high quality uh, it is extremely convincing for the neurologists because the the, the detail the the, uh, the quality of the of the uh, anatomic detail uh, resembles much that one offered by magnetic resonance which is the standard in, in neuroimaging so I believe that here for neuroimaging for PET in neuroimaging, digital PET will be the instrument of choice.